All right, what we're showing you here is a radius gauge for the 553 shoes. There's two sides of the gauge that we're illustrating here. You may have in your place uh, two separate half moon fixtures, but the intention here is to demonstrate the small side and the large side of the fixture with the smaller side being marked as in touch, which is this side right here, and the smaller side, or the larger side rather, being marked a center touch, like this. So, thank you, Vanna. All right, so Andrew's gonna put this shoe in here and show you on the center touch side that it's actually touching in the center, and if you've got the backlight gauge, you can see around the edges that the light should be coming through. But if you wiggle it, you're gonna see that there's actually some movement on the ends by just kind of twisting it back and forth. And you can feel the axis of rotation is the center. Right. Okay. So that's the center touch, where it's rotating in this off the center and touching in the middle. Now, <clears throat> on this lower one, now this is a good shoe, right, Andrew? Correct. Okay, so this is a good shoe right here. So we're putting that in here. And you can you can kind of twist it back and forth, trying to rotate it to his doing with the fingers there, and it really won't rotate because the ends are keeping it from twisting. And if you've got a backlight, which we don't have a good illustration right here, you should be able to see a little bit of light coming through, you know, this center portion of the of the shoe right here. But it's very easy to feel when you've got a good shoe because when it's in this end touch side. It absolutely just will not will not rotate if you've got it nested into that fixture. Okay, now, grab a grab a bad one there, Andrew. Okay, here's one that has been ground too small, so we can put it on the center touch side of the gauge, and it's going to look like a good one because it's touching in the center because the ends of the shoe are are ground thinner than they should be, but it's still going to touch in the center. So that tenor touch gauge is still going to check good. Okay? Now down on the bottom, what's going to happen is it's going to feel very similar to the way the center touch gauge did. It's still rotating back and forth. Let me get up here so you can see what's happening. See how that's twisting back and forth? That's because the ends are not touching and it's not holding it secure in the gauge. 